Good morning, my dear friends. My name is Ananya. Today, I am going to do an experiment to show the reaction between vinegar and baking soda. Now, first, let us see the reaction between vinegar and baking soda. This reaction can be represented by vinegar which contains acetic acid that is CH3COOH by mixing with baking soda also called as sodium hydrogen carbonate that is NAHCO3 on reaction it gives products as carbon dioxide which is CO2, water which is H2O and sodium acetate that is CH. 3 C O O N A. Now let us do the experiment to understand the reaction between vinegar and baking soda. Now let us see the materials required. We need 1 tablespoon of baking soda, 1 balloon, matchbox, a plastic bottle and vinegar. Now let us pour the baking soda into the balloon through a funnel. Now, if you see, we have poured the baking soda into this balloon. Now, we have to pour some vinegar into this plastic bottle. We have poured approximately 20 ml of vinegar into this bottle. Now, let us keep the balloon to the mouth of the bottle. Now let us see what happens when we pour this baking soda into this bottle of vinegar. Due to the reaction between vinegar and baking soda, the carbon dioxide gas is produced. Therefore, it makes the balloon increase its size. Now let us remove the balloon from the bottle and close it with the cap. On reacting with the vinegar and the baking soda, this forms a sodium acetate solution. Now, let us burn the matchstick. In order to glow the matchstick, oxygen is very important. So, when we keep this matchstick in contact with the bottle containing sodium acetate, the matchstick blows away, indicating that this solution contains carbon dioxide gas which is a non-supporter of combustion. Therefore, I would like to conclude by saying that on reaction of baking soda and vinegar, it gives sodium acetate solution and releases carbon dioxide gas. Thank you.